Today we're going to be going over Facebook's new ad format, Flexible. If you don't already know who I am, I'm Lucas Keeler. I run a Facebook ads agency that works with e-commerce business owners. We help them scale using Facebook ads. Now what Flexible basically is, it's basically a DCT. If you already don't know what a DCT is, it just stands for Dynamic Creative. And they're moving Dynamic Creative from the ad set to just the ad itself. So I'm going to show you exactly how to use it and why it's kind of important when testing new Facebook ads. So we're inside our Facebook ads manager right now. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new campaign. So I'm going to Go up to the top left right here, click create. I'll do a sales campaign, click continue. Do a manual sales campaign, click continue again. And I'm just gonna name this campaign test since that's what it primarily is. And we don't need to do anything in special ad categories or even campaign details or even any of this stuff. The only thing that we really need to turn on is advantage campaign budget. We're gonna set our budget to let's say $30 a day and go from there. We're now gonna click next right here on the bottom. We're now inside our ad set. So once again, I'm just gonna name this test since this is a test ad set. And for our conversion location, I'm doing website and this is a purchase campaign. Obviously, if you're running sales, do, you know, website and shop. If you have the option to do website and shop, if you're running leads, then do your website or whatever location you're, you're sending prospects to. Now for our performance goal, we're going to do maximize number of conversions. And for our pixel, make sure you have your pixel selected. And for the conversion event, we're just going to choose purchase right here. We can now move forward from the conversion side. Now, right here where it says dynamic creative, as you can see, if we we're going to do a dynamic creative test, we would originally turn this on and done a dynamic creative. Now you can still do a dynamic creative, it's just going to be going away soon, as Facebook says right here. Now, it says right here, until then, using Dynamic Creative will enable the flexible ad format. This allows you to continue providing creative elements to automatically generate combinations tailored to your audience. Also show your ad in the format that we predict may perform the best. Now, instead of turning on Dynamic Creative inside the ad set, we're just going to turn on flexible inside the actual ad itself. So we're going to leave budget and schedule the same. Audience control is completely the same and same with advantage plus audience and even placements. Click next and insert our ad name. We're just gonna name this test again. I chose my identity, which is just my Facebook page, my Instagram account. I'm not gonna go to the actual ad setup and where it says format, we're gonna choose flexible. So now inside flexible, we can now go down to ad creative and choose add media. For example, I'm just gonna click add videos and now I can add three videos inside one ad and it's going to test all three of those videos against itself. So Facebook's going to find what video actually works the best, continue using that video instead of the other two. Now you can do up to 10 images or videos inside the flexible format and even up to five primary texts or headlines. Just remind yourself that if you have Advantage campaign budget turned on and let's say you're spending $40 a day, Facebook's going to test all of these different options. So let's say you have 10 different images inside a flexible ad and let's say you have five primary texts, five headlines, there's multiple combinations going on there. So let's just do the Math real quick on this. If you did, let's say 10 x 5 times another 5, I don't know if this is correct or if I'm just being a little dumb here with math, but that means you have over 250 variations of ads inside this actual ad. So that means if you're spending $40 a day, let's do that math on that again. So you're doing $40 a day and ad spend by 250 variations of that ad. So if you spend $40 a day and you're doing 250 different variations of the ad, and let's say all of your money goes just into this ad, I'm not even accounting for if you have three other ads inside your uh, campaign and maybe half the budget's going to this new ad, that means you're only spending 16 cents a day on each new variation of the ad. So just be very careful of that. And I wouldn't test too many things inside the actual ad, inside the actual flexible format. I would test one thing. So if it's whether it's three different videos and then the same primary text, same headline, or if it's just one video or one photo, and then two or three primary text in the same headline, or if it's one photo and one video and one primary text and three or six different headlines, you know, I, I would say that's how you would use the flexible format. I wouldn't test multiple different primary texts or headlines with multiple different variations of videos or images, just because it's really hard for Facebook to actually spend the enough money to see if the actual ad is going to work. So I would just be very careful of that. But with that moving forward, obviously you enter in your website URL, you can leave on Advantage Plus creative optimizations. One thing I would turn off is right here, multi-advertiser ads just means our ad can appear alongside other ads. I don't really want that happening. I want them to be focused on our ad and then going down to tracking where it says website events, make sure you have website events turned on and your pixel is connected to website events. That's going to be sending information from your actual website back to Facebook and it's going to be communicating, seeing what ads are actually doing well and Facebook's going to prioritize spending more money on the ads that are doing well versus the ones that aren't. 
So and moving forward, just with URL parameters, if you're using any platforms like Triple Whale, Hyros, maybe GA4, add in those parameters right there and you could track your actual ad inside those tracking platforms and see what ads are bringing in, what kinds of people, and if they're actually bringing in purchases. So that's all you really need to know when it comes to the ad format flexible. It's basically a dynamic creative just inside the actual ad level. Moving forward, I'm using this for all of the businesses I'm working with. I still do dynamic creative on some of the ad accounts that I have just because we were already using dynamic creative for the new accounts I'm working with. I'm just starting to use flexible and getting used to that instead of doing dynamic creative. But this is all you need to know on the actual flexible ad format. I hope this video helps. Like and subscribe if you thought this was helpful and I will see you guys next time.